Hi, my name is Jaroslav Tulach and I'm initial founder and uh, architect of NetBeans. Today we have a great uh, time for celebration because we managed to release a new version of NetBeans, NetBeans 8.0.1 and I'm glad that NetBeans is still alive after all those years but rather than talking about NetBeans I'd rather tell you about something more useful, about something more cool because we have a technology that allows you to use Java to write your application logic, use HTML to create your UI and then take this application and bundle it in a way that you can deploy it everywhere and when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere you can deploy it to iPad, iPhone Android phones, tablets, you can deploy it into browsers. And last, but of course not least, you can also deploy it to NetBeans. So let me show you why NetBeans is the most productive IDE because of this icon. It's a Minesweeper game. And it really boosts my productivity because whenever there is a long build, I can just start my application and play the mines and play the mines and um, uh, and do a mistake okay uh, let me switch to a browser now the layout seems to be the same and actually even the functionality is the same I can still play the game and again do a mistake but this time this game runs in a browser and it's completely client-side technology no connection to the server everything is running on the client inside of the browser and it's a java return game and also when you want to play this game on your phone uh, you can do it it's available from google play and again it's the same game uh, just repackaged and you can if you are a happy owner of uh, iPhone or I, uh, iPad, you can uh, and download the game again. And it uh, runs, uh, it's again repackaged to run on different device. So, let me tell you how this is done and more than that, how you can create applications like this. Ok, back to NetBeans. Get your NetBeans 8.0.1, go to Tools, Plugins, and in Available Plugins search for HTML slash Java. Here is it, HTML Java Project Support version 2.2. .2. Let's install it. Installing, ok, accepting license, downloading, and it's actually a pretty small module. Uh, and uh, it should install quite fast. Here is it. So we have it. And now let's use it. Go to HTML category in uh, the new project uh, dialog and choose HTML5 with Java application logic. Okay. Um, and here we will have 10 steps to create application that can really run everywhere. And actually here are the icons of all the supported platforms. If you want to know more about um, uh, the tutorials, you can view the documentation. So now here is the version 1.0 of our documentation, which describes all the essential APIs. Um, but uh, we can talk about that later. First of all, let's see what we can do. So. We need to select a location for the project, so that's going to be uh, NetBeans project. Uh, we need to select a name, so this is going to be video demo uh, or NetBeans demo. As a, let's use this as a package name and the name of the application. Next. Okay, now there is a tough decision. We have a few templates you can use as a starting point. Um, the basic one shows some animation and it's useful for those who somehow play games. 
then there is a crot template for all those of us who are business oriented so this is basically going to create a more complex application which is composed from a rest server and also a client uh, and actually many clients for all the devices that we want to have, want to support um, and actually some code is also shared between the client and, uh, and the server so let's go on let's choose the business application so first of all um, this page says that in order to compile debug and work with this uh, technology it's good to have JavaFX and uh, create um, and support the JavaFX deployment. Then uh, the next question is do we want to deploy to Android? Uh, sure, we want. So let's enable it. Ah, warning. We need to download SDK from uh, Google and provide a location to it. So I have it somewhere. I think. SDK, this is it. So now the uh, wizard is modifying uh, the settings file, so um, the Maven build process finds the SDK. Do we want to deploy to iOS? Oh, sure, why not? But the problem is I cannot do it from uh, Linux. Uh, I can enable this uh, profile, but uh, in order to build application for iOS, you need Mac. So I will not be able to demonstrate it on this computer. Do we want to deploy to browsers? Do we want to run in Safari, Firefox, Chrome, and modern version of uh, Internet Explorer? Sure, why not? So let's enable back to browser profile. Uh, do we want to deploy as NetBeans module? So we can take the application and package it uh, like we package the Minesweeper game. Uh, actually, no, we probably don't want to do that. So let's leave this unchecked. So now, this is the summary of what is going to happen. We are going to create a new project, and inside of the project, we will have a chance to uh, work at it as in a regular way. But we will also have custom options for specify uh, for invoking uh, the execution in Android, in iOS, in a browser, and so on. So let's finish. Let's generate our project so right now all the background infrastructure is based on maven so right now we created a maven archetype and okay okay we have the project ready so let's explore it and actually this is a pom project and it contains uh, another four actual projects with actual sources but the first thing to do is probably invoke build so let's run the build and meanwhile we can inspect what is in here so actually uh, there is the server so let's open it there is a client and there are shared data structures between the client and the server so now uh, the next step is probably to start the server so let's choose uh, the server project and to debug Okay, the debugging uh, starts, the process is running, and actually this is a Grizzly based server, uh, Grizzly on the background, but otherwise it's uh, mostly um, um, Jersey, Jersey based. It uses uh, uh, Java X WS RC uh, API to define a resource, and the resource contains uh, um, contacts and we can get the contacts we can add a contact remove a contact uh, or update a contact and to do so we of course need a client so let's run the client and this is going to start classical uh, client uh, based on JavaFX so now okay let's edit first name uh, the beans a dot one street uh arco uh -huh. and okay uh, so 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 for example and let's add another another call
and you can see that there is a validation even we type something that is not a number we get the validation and so on so now let's do ok well actually before we do ok let's put a breakpoint somewhere so update contact add contact so the, some form of validation is happening here on the client uh, but of course the real validation should also happen on a, on a server and here is it whenever we at the client sends a rest call to the server we are in the server we can actually do validation and the nice thing which is not that visible but these structures the contact the phone uh, and basically all the validation which is happening here is actually uh, running on a server as well as on a client so compared to a classical use case where uh, people use JavaScript uh, for client and Java for a server um, you know you can actually share the code the code can really run both on a client as well as on a server so I will let it run uh, and now we should see that we have a new user okay so that's uh, sort of nice but actually um, what I'd like to show is we can uh, we can run the application from the custom menu in Android, iOS or in a browser so now let's try browser into the JavaScript files so basically each jar gets converted into one uh, JavaScript file and we have a new, new something new in a browser so this is not the browser this is the browser so really this is the browser we were using before and the application looks the same and actually what we can do is uh, uh, we can change something so for example I can put here different street name it's immediately visible here, visible here but we also have the other client and if I do a refresh well it's also visible here so if I delete my name and go back to the browser and do refresh um, it updates as well so basically uh, we can see that those two clients share the same server and the good thing on that is the code is still the same Okay. okay, so the next thing we can do is to also deploy this application to an Android device. So let's try it. It may take a while because um, generating the APK file, the packaging for Android, is sort of costly. It's not for free. Uh, but yeah, uh, deploy. Now we are in process of deploying. So, success. And I'm looking at my phone, and actually, yes, I see the application running. And to show you that uh, here in services, you may also find uh, Android devices in case if you are using the MB Android by MB Android project. So, here I can take device snapshot. So, here is it. So this is basically the, mm, the application. It cannot connect to the server because it uses the local host address, which is of course not true. The phone has different IP address than, than my computer. But otherwise the, uh, the look and feel is, is the same. And I will take another snapshot uh, after, after clicking the uh, add new. I can see that uh, really the form looks similar the form that uh, we used to see on uh, in the browser as well as in JavaFX client and moreover of course there is the uh, iPad and uh, other iOS actions which you can al also use to uh, when you are running on Mac so, uh, and uh, they will deploy to your um, to your uh, iPad or uh, iPhone. Okay, and now the last thing I would like to show is how the application is structured. So actually it's built around uh, our APIs, which are well documented and full of examples. Um, and the thing that uh, 
one specifies is a model for the UI. So we have a URL where to connect, a message, set of contacts, uh, and some other information. And then, in addition to that, we have an HTML page. Let me maximize it. With the help of uh, Knockout and Java and the bindings that we provided uh, for that. So, let me end our little tour and show you once again a successful application which really has been deployed to all the platforms. It's not a business oriented application, it's just a game, but uh, regardless of that, it should also demonstrate the power and maturity of this technology. Uh, so remember, use uh, HTML and Java um, through the HTML Java project in NetBeans and then deploy to browsers, deploy to iOS, Android and possibly also NetBeans. Thank you for your attention and enjoy HTML and Java synergy.